Hey guys, okay, so I'm ready for my next Halloween tutorial this year and I am going to be Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Now I know that there are a lot of Harley Quinn tutorials out there, um, but I really wanted to do it because I thought that it's a benefit to look at different Halloween tutorials and maybe take you know, things from one person and do some things from another person. And I wanted to give my own little take on it. Um, I already have blue contacts and these are from Pinky Paradise. I bought this with my own money. So I'm going to do kind of like a grungy, glittery, kind of cartoony Harley Quinn, something that's just really fun and theatrical. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to moisturize because like I said each time, you wanna make sure that your skin is really hydrated and primed whenever you do these Halloween makeups because um, it takes a toll on your skin. So this is Arfa Vitamin C Serum. I like to keep it by my makeup area because it's kind of just like lightweight but it really hydrates my skin. This is NYX um, Purple Primer. Okay, so now we're gonna nude out the skin because she's obviously way paler than I am. So if you're a little bit tanner like me, just pick a lighter foundation. You don't have to do white because it's not really as realistic. So I'm going to take this pale foundation from um, Graftobian. It's their cream foundation in alabaster. I like to use this for a lot of my Halloween looks, like when I do a vampire or anything kind of pale. And I'm going to kind of thin it out a little bit. This is um, silicone based thinner from um, Temp2. So I have a light layer on, I went down to my neck as well as my ears. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set it with also a pale foundation. This is Graftobian Dual Finish Foundation in Cold Breeze. So again, it's pretty pale. I'm just gonna use a Kabuki brush. And this is gonna set it while kind of adding a little bit more of a skin tone finish to it. Okay, as you see, I'm paler, but it looks a little bit more real because this is a little bit more, got a little bit more yellow in it. I'm gonna take um, third degree, which is kind of like what you use to make silicone molds and like applications to the face. Basically what you do is you take jar number A and you use its own spatula for it because you can't contaminate jar A and B. We're gonna take jar B with its own special spatula and the equal part, so we have half and half. And then I'm going to take a separate uh, spatula and I'm gonna mix the two together. All right, so you're gonna get this like nice little kind of paste consistency. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to hit the right top of the forehead and I'm gonna put a nice little, uh, like a good, good decent layer of it so that way I can make a little scratch. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to create like a cut through it. So this is, since it's a thick layer, when you take a, you take something that's small and you kind of just make a line, it's gonna create the illusion that it's a cut in the skin, okay? Now, I just took a pair of scissors, like this is, but I didn't scratch myself with them, just be careful whichever you use. And then to help thin out the edges, I'm gonna just going to take a brush with um, alcohol, okay? And then I'm just gonna thin out the edges because I don't want like an obvious hard line. Okay, so we thinned out the edges and we're gonna let that dry. It takes about 10 minutes to cure and then we'll go back in. Okay, so one of the things I love about this tutorial is she has dark full brows, so I don't actually have to cover up my brows for once. Dip brow pomade in ebony. And I'm gonna do a very kind of cartoony brow with like obvious hair strokes in it. Okay, brows done. So as you can see, they're very thick. It's almost like Instagram brows. Um, and then I drew a little kind of hairs coming out of them because I wanted like an obvious, you know, drawn in brow. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm gonna do on the left side blue and the right side red. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do the blue eye. So this is kind of gonna be glam but messy at the same time. Fortunately, I have this blue from Estee Lauder Edit, Estee Edit, and it just came out. So I'm gonna use this as a base on the left side of my face, which is, I have to think about the left side. All right, so I'm gonna put this down as a base. All right, now I'm gonna take a more precise brush and I'm going to kind of do a cut crease because I wanna give the illusion of a bigger eye. 
Okay, now above the blue, I'm gonna draw a little black line and that's gonna be the cut crease. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set that blue with the coordinating shadow. This is um, the Metallic shadow in Wall Cosmos, just, but any blue will do. Okay, so now above the black line, we're gonna fade it out like how you do with a typical crease. Um, for this color, I'm gonna use like a purple and I'm going to use a smaller kind of pencil brush. And then above that, I'm going to fade it out with a pink tone because I kind of want to give a little bit of dimension with the color fading. Okay, and then above that, I'm just going to do a nude color just so that way it can set the brow bone and kind of fade it down. So I'm just going to take a white. In the waterline, we're going to put a white and that's going to make the eyes look bigger as well. And then we're going to go ahead and decorate around it. This is Aqua XL from Make It Forever. I love these liners. So this is a white first. And then I'm gonna throw in a very dark blue on the lower lash line. Okay, so as you can see, my eye already kinda looks bigger. And then I'm just gonna smoke out that lower lash line. Okay, so that's the neat part. Now we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit messy. So now I'm going to take, um, this is the colorful palette I'm using. It's a mixture of Sugar Pill, Make It Forever, Ben Eye Eyeshadows. And then we're gonna take a larger blender brush and then we're gonna start to create like a fade around here of the blue as if it got smeared. Okay, so now we have the blue base laid down. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot pink in there just to kind of give a little bit of dimension and make it pretty. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of a mix of pink and purple and blue. And then the fun part is we get to add glitter. So I'm going to take some glitter glams from Graftobian. And I love these things, so it's pretty much just like liquid glitter and it's really intense. And I'm just gonna put some little dots around the eye and around the smear. Okay, do you see the glitter? It's starting to look like a gem, but it will come together, I promise. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and line this top lash line. Okay, so these are the lashes I'm gonna put on. They are SF42 from a no, ma no name brand, but they're kind of spiky, so I, I like it for this look. Okay, so the lashes on, I'm gonna kind of finish up this side. So I'm gonna take that same liner brush, and then I'm gonna kind of create some smears down as if it's smeared as well as lower um, lashes. Okay, so that kind of creates the illusion of a lash as well as some smokiness down there. And what you could even do if you wanna be a little extra because I really want this to kind of be a cartoony look, is I'm gonna create some lashes on the top in addition to the spiky lashes that we have. We're kind of, we're gonna dirty up the look a little bit by going in with a lot of contour and a lot of dirt smudges, but let's go ahead and move on to the other side. So I'm gonna kind of do something similar. Um, I'm going to do pinkish red on this side with purple as like the smoky color. So let's go ahead and start doing that right now. So I want a base on this eye too, just to make the pink really pop. So I'm just going to take a lip liner from City Color, and this is in the shade Salmon. And I know it's for the lips, so I'm just going to use it on my eyes. Okay, so we have the hot pink base, which actually came out really good and bright. And then we're going to set that with the hot pink shadow that we've been using on the side. So I'm going to draw in the black cut crease, and above that we'll smoke it out with the purple again. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward past this part because it's pretty much the same thing as the other side. We're drawing in a cut crease with a black liner and then smoking it out with a dark purple, and then fading it out with a light pink, and then on the waterline I'm applying a white, and then applying a purple and smoking it out on the lower lash line. And then on this side you're going to also do that smudge look. I'm taking hot pink and then applying a bit of red and a little bit of purple to kind of get that little starburst eye effect. It's a little bit more than a smudge liner or a smudge eyeshadow, but it still looks really cool. Okay, so a couple of uh, little touches. I switched to a different um, glitter on this side because the other one wasn't showing up enough. So this one is the Opal Confetti. So this one's got more of like an opal kind of color tone, but it really pops a lot more than the um, the, the rose one. All right, and then we're gonna do a little bit of highlighting of our tear duct. I'm going to use Urban Decay Polyester Bride, a really shimmery white. We want shimmer because this is kind of gonna be
be an obvious kind of cartoony look. And I'm going to apply the little liner on the top and the bottom like I did before. And then while I'm up here, I might as well just add a little bit of more little hair-like strokes to these brows because this black really pops on top of the ebony brows. Okay, so now that that's done, we can kind of get to contouring and highlighting the face and then adding some kind of dirt. So I'm going to go ahead and contour just using some eyeshadows. These are Graftobian. And I like these because they're kind of cool toned, so they'll give me a nice little contour. I'm just going to use this paintbrush that I have from Michaels, and I'm going to use the shadowy contour colors to create kind of like a cute little pert nose that she has. And then I'm going to just kind of contour and highlight all over and be a little bit messy with it because I want to look a little bit dirty. All right, and now we're gonna kind of dirty up the little pieces of the face. So I'm gonna randomly add kind of some dirt because she is fighting and getting dirty. Okay, so obviously dirty face. Um, now we wanna go in and do a little bit of highlighting. But like I said, this is not kind of realistic. So I'm gonna highlight with that really shimmery color, Urban Decay Polyester Bride. Okay, so you see it kind of adds sh real shiny kind of fake look to it. And then I want to go in and do a little bit of the blood action. So this little wound here, we need to cover it with the foundation first. And we're going to disguise that a little bit by putting some dirt back on there. Okay. And then we're going to take a little bit of uh, red, like a blood tone. This is my zombie illustrator palette. It's alcohol activated. So I'm going to go ahead and get in there with a tiny little brush. And I'm going to color the inside of that little wound. Like so. And then I'm going to deepen it up a little bit because I want it to be darker a little bit on it too. So it looks a little more realistic. Then we can use this little stippling sponge from Graftobian. And I'm going to stipple a little bit of blood around it too. And while we're up here, let's go ahead and get, in, get some fake blood. This is the Graftobian blood paste. So for the lips, I'm going to do a really beautiful red lip and then mess it up. So I'm going to take a dark a darker lip liner just to kind of give a lot of a dimension to the look. And then we're going to outline the lip first and I'm going to overdraw it just a little bit because I want that really full, full lip look. Okay, and then for the red lip, I'm using more of a red, the berry, it's like a berry tone on the outside, but the red is Atlantic City from Afra. And then I want to deepen up that lip line a little bit more. So I'm just going to go in with a good old black lip liner. So then of course you have to smear the lips. So on the right side, I'm just going to drag it down. Then I'm going to just kind of go in and just dirty my face up just a little bit more because I feel like I need it. So I'm not going to add any more blood though because I don't want, I don't want this to be a bloody look. I just want it to be kind of rough and dirty. Okay, so I threw on the wig and my little shirt. The wig and shirt are both from Amazon. This is actually a nice wig. I mean, it's, it feels pretty full. Um, and I just kind of took some pieces out and put them in pigtails. It was already in pigtails, but I took them out and made them messier. And then the shirt just says Daddy's Little Monster, just a regular shirt. And if I was going to wear this for Halloween, which I might, I am going to throw on some black uh, shorts, like um, booty shorts and then black fishnet stockings and if you have them rock some um, platform sneakers like um, wedge sneakers you know like black and white because she has these really funky um, athletic heeled sneakers this is a fun look this is really fun to do um, as you can see it's kind of it's messy but still pretty at the same time and I like I, I like adding the little cut 
because I, didn't, I haven't seen a lot of them with cuts. And actually the reason why I kind of came up with this look and I was inspired by this picture right here. So it's like a drawing that I happened to find on the internet. So it's not really necessarily accurate to the movie, but I just liked it. It had glitter and it was pretty, but still messy at the same time. So this is the final look. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will also include the link to my Halloween tutorials playlist where I'll show you all of my tutorials. There's a lot of good ones out there. And then I'll also list all the products and pictures on my blog at makeupbyrenrun.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.